Hello, I'm Jesse Johnson. And I'm Melva Thomas Johnson. Thank you for joining us for our first week of questions and answers about relationships. You know, Melva, every week we get um, questions from uh, our blog, a radio show, and from uh, emails and um, other questions, and we uh, are not able to answer all of those. Uh, so this gives us an opportunity to ask, or answer rather, the most common questions that people ask. Yes, yeah, so every week we have decided that we are going to select the most common relationship problem um, that we are asked and give you an answer on our video. So the first question that came up so many times this week is about blended families. Yes. And this is right down our alley mm -hmm. because we are a blended family. So I think we have some ideas to share. The question was that a, a newlywed couple um, both previously married with children uh -huh. are trying to figure out a way to blend their families in such a way that um, there's harmony at home and also harmony with the biological parents. There's been some rough spots and they want some ideas. Well there was certainly something that we had to deal with when we came together uh, as a blended family yes. and it was important not only for the two of us to be very clear about what our purpose was and what was important in terms of our values and what we wanted to instill in our household among our children, but also um, to be able to wait, find ways to work together and make it work for everybody in the household. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, one of the main concepts and one of the things that worked best for us was it wasn't about your family, your biological family, and my biological family. It was about our family yes. and what was the kind of family that we wanted to create together. Mm -hmm. So our suggestion to the new blended family, both parents had been in long-term marriages beforehand, so they had teenagers. So um, that's a journey in itself. Mm -hmm. So I would start off with the family coming together and defining what is the vision for the family that's living under the same roof together mm -hmm. and have everybody participate. Right. We had a series of family meetings which we met once a month and we sat down and we actually once explored a week. those. Once a week rather, that's yeah. right. And we explored those uh, questions and we answered them and uh, as a consequence it really resulted in our being a very close-knit family and we worked out in our family meetings all the kind of problems that came up. What was fascinating to me was that everybody had an opportunity to have a say Mm -hmm. in what they wanted to be family. And since everybody had an opportunity to have a say, then everybody had an opportunity to have a role in having the kind of family that they wanted. So that would be the first step that I would say. Yes. I think that probably be the most important. If you start there, I think it'll, it'll go a long way toward creating the kind of home and family that everyone can thrive in and you can have peace and harmony too. So that would be our first step. And that's the answer to our first question and answer series. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for asking the question. Mm -hmm. And until next time, I am Melva Thomas Johnson. And I'm Jesse Johnson. Remember, keep the questions coming. Yes, and we wish you relationship success. Thank you.